Oh, you're still here. Does everyone like Mama Lou? <laughs> you see, Mama Lou's one of the inmates here at the asylum. One day, the voodoo queen actually came to visit her. She had spells and hexes, and while they were powerful and all of her prophecies came true, she was nowhere as scary as Mama Larue. I'm pretty sure by now you're all wondering why my face as it is. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering why my eyes just aren't quite right. I'll tell you. I was this tall when it happened. Me and a bunch of other kids decided to go play hide and seek by the old brown barn near the woods. Now most of the kids ran off, hid behind the trees. Others hid themselves up in the hayloft. Me, truly not wanting to be found, I went round that old barn and I discovered this ancient looking well. Now being young, and that tall, I thought that was the perfect hiding place. Deep, dark shadows, perfect for me. So I ran over, placed my little hands on that crumbly brick, and I felt it shudder. And I fell down, down into that well, about eight, nine feet down. I landed on molded leaves and years of old earth. I was stunned and I looked up knowing I had to climb my way out before mama got too upset. So I put my hands on that wall, started to climb my way out when I heard this noise. Now, being a country girl, I knew there's things out in the woods, squirrels, foxes, things I shouldn't be too afraid of. Put my foot on the wall, started to climb my way up. Reached up a little higher. Dug my toes into that wall to climb up. I'd had enough of this noise. Whatever it was, little critter that it was, was distracting me from climbing. So I hopped down. And I turned to face whatever it was, tell it to hush. When I looked into the darkness and saw two bright blue eyes staring at me. And then on my face, I felt as if the sun had decided to just strike me down right there. And then a blinding light flashed before my eyes. All I saw was white. And the next thing I knew, I was back home in my bed. My mama was looking down at me saying, look up at me, child. Come on now. Let me see. Look up. I wiped the blood from my face. The scars had already started to make their home there. My face was forever changed. And like my face, my eyes were never, ever quite right the same again. So you ask me why my eyes and my face are this way? Even I don't know what did it to me. <laughs> <laughs> 